так, так. How's it going, everybody? Thanks for tuning in my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kevin. Welcome. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. In this video, I want to show you guys how to scan your check engine light with your cell phone. I want to make this video to help you guys save $100 from a dealership. So there are three things that you will need. A cell phone. Uh, number two is the app OBD2 Scanner, which you can download from the App Store. And lastly, uh, EML327 Car Scanner. The OBD2 Car Scanner app I'll be using is called Torque Pro. I recommend this for Android users. For Apple users, I recommend Dash Command or OBD Fusion. I recommend you guys get the full page version apps. The demo apps won't be able to scan you all the codes. Now this device is very important. It is called the EML327 OBD2 Wi-Fi Car Scanner. This works most cars after 2000 I believe. If you purchase this off eBay, make sure you spend at least $10.50. If you spend around 7 or $8, you will not get the same product. It will probably not work. Make sure when you receive the product, it has a QC sticker on. This is very important. If you don't get this QC sticker on, or if you don't have it, it might not function as well. It might not be able to scan most cars like Honda. But it can scan Toyota, but not Honda. There's something weird about that, about the quality. This is the device that communicates the car CPU with the cell phone. The EML327 comes in three versions, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and USB corded. I recommend you guys getting the Wi-Fi version. It's compatible for all devices. The Bluetooth version is not compatible for Apple products. Step number one, you want to locate the OBD2 outlet. For most cars, it should be around underneath the steering wheel. If it's not there, you'll have to Google it and locate where it is. For this car, is a 2004 CRV. Mine is located underneath the steering wheel, right here. Should look like that. After you have located the OBD2 outlet, plug in the device. When you plug it in the device, make sure the status light indicator lights up then you know it has power. It has, if it does not light up, there's no power. That means it will not work. Okay, you saw those. It flashed a bit, that means it's gonna be functional. I'll show you this one more time. Make sure the lights flash or even a red solid light. Turn the car on, but without turning on the engine. All you want to do is see the lights. As you can see, the engine light went away. It doesn't matter because it's saved in the car's system. Step number four, I want to connect the device with my cell phone. So I'm gonna connect it through Wi-Fi since it's Wi-Fi. Here it is, Wi-Fi email 327, I click it. No password is required, now I am connected. Next, step number five, open the app. I want to make sure the app is connected to the car, to the device. Now it's checking for my car, ECU, connected. Now my car is connecting to the cell phone. Now it's communicating with the app. Now I am ready to check codes. I'm gonna click the fault codes, tap to scan for codes. Now as you can see, I have two faulty codes in my car. 
Oh boy. And that's how you scan your car with your cell phone. Don't ever let a car dealership scam you. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Peace out.